Oh, no, and, uh, no, how do no. How we talk about the, it? The police conducted a five-month investigation, Dr. Drew. They interviewed 70 witnesses, and they found zero corroboration for her claims. So I think it's important that we do draw attention to situations where women do lie, and, and we reprimand women, and they pay the price for doing this, because like I said, it then minimizes true victims of sexual assault and rape when you have incidents like this. S Spirit, it, it gets know, more I, complicated. I, I, Spirit, I'm going to say it, it gets more complicated, does. right? Because, because, but here, let me just put, let me, let me let me frame it though a little bit this way, which is sometimes when people have had previous trauma, they amplify things that have happened to them, but they're no less traumatizing to them. They can distort, they can fabricate, it can happen. But sometimes it's somebody who you, you know the the perpetrator doesn't realize they're experiencing a trauma. It doesn't look like a traumatic event, but it is. And you know, Dr. Drew, to, to take it one step further, and and I have to give this. I'm glad that you gave. Anahita's disclaimer, but I still have to say shame on you, Anahita, because the type of language that you're using, you're saying that she fabricated, that she lied, that she did all of these things, that even law enforcement will not stand behind that strong of a stance. And I think it does a real disservice to this woman, to this woman and so many other women who, as you have said yourself, it is difficult for women to come forward. And so what that they didn't find what they needed two years after? Of course there's not going to be any evidence there. Of course, her memory and everyone else's memory of these events are going to be tainted, and there's going to be discrepancies two and even three years after this event. And, and I think and it, you is, could it argue, is deplorable for us to do this. You well, could argue that she was too shamed, too freaked out to go get the forensic examination, and that's why she's in the position she's in. Sam, do you agree with that? How many I, times I, listen, do we see I, that? How no, many times? I agree with you, Spirit, on maybe every other case that we've talked about when it, when it involves sexual assault and rape, but unfortunately not in this case, okay? I looked through the report, and this girl not only did 70 people, as Anahita said, who were interviewed, who this girl pointed out, at all. who this girl pointed there. out, who this girl, well, the other people's feelings have been hurt, because she pointed out people that weren't involved. She slammed and threw her friends, her three friends under the bus, wrote about them in a Rolling Stone article and painted them to the world as rape sympathizers Sam, when that wasn't the listen, case. So people, there listen, is collateral I, damage I, I, here. I hear There's you on all that and I'm not here. talking to you about the collateral damage. I'm not talking about what happened in shame terms of the girl. auxiliary shame pieces. On this girl. I say not just, not just shame on her. I'd say shame on Rolling Stone of for course, writing the article. Of course, shame yes. on everybody who did all of these things without the facts being in place. Yes. But at the end of the day, uh, I will still stand behind I, the point that when a woman speaks up and says, listen, this is what happened to me, I will take that with a grain of salt 